Now that you've launched Snap, let's take a look at your options for blocks with the Hummingbird. Once again, make sure your Hummingbird board is connected via USB. All of the blocks can be tested before adding them to your programs by simply changing the values and clicking them. You can find the Hummingbird blocks at the bottom of the Motion, Looks, and Sensing categories. In the Motion category, let's check out the blocks for servos and gear motors. To use these, make sure your power cable is plugged into a power source. Starting with the motor commands, we have the servo block. This controls servos 1 through 4 with a value ranging from 0 to 180 degrees. Next we have the Hummingbird gear motor. This will control motor ports 1 and 2 with a value ranging from negative 100 at lowest to 100 at highest. Last up for the motors we have vibration. This will set vibration motors 1 or 2 and an intensity value ranging from 0 to 100. Now let's move on to our LED commands in the looks category. First we have a standard LED. This sets the intensity of a single color LED light for ports 1 through 4. The intensity ranges from 0 to 100. Then you have the tricolor LED, which controls port 1 and 2 with red, green, and blue intensities ranging from 0 to 100. Switching gears, now let's take a look at the sensors. These can be found in the sensing category. All sensing commands allow the user to specify a number corresponding to the port the sensor is on. To see the value of the sensor, simply click on the block. By sensing the amount of light in the room, the light sensor returns a value from 0 to 100. The Hummingbird temperature sensor blocks return the value in Celsius and Fahrenheit of a temperature probe. The Hummingbird distance sensor blocks return the distance to an object from the sensor in centimeters or inches. The distance sensor's range is 5 to 100 centimeters but a value greater than 80 centimeters indicates that nothing is within range of the sensor. The rotary block returns the value from the Hummingbird's knob also ranging from 0 to 100. The sound sensor block returns the loudness of the nearby area with a value ranging from 0 to 100. Then you have the raw sensor block. This returns a value from the port it is set to. The block ranges from 0 to 100, corresponding to 0 to 5 volts on that port. Lastly, we have the Say This block, which can be found in the Sound category. This enables the computer speakers to say whatever text is typed into the box. Hello. And that completes the run-through of the Hummingbird blocks for Snap. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel.